Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, another tutorial by Dwarf Fortress with Timo. Uh, today what we're going to do is talk about how to deal with aquifers, specifically a light aquifer. Uh, I'll make a different heavy aquifer tutorial uh, when I'm on a map with a heavy aquifer. So this map just has a light aquifer. Unfortunately, I can't, I don't think there are maps that exist with both. Uh, so here we go. We're going to unpause it. I've got this fort that started. Um, I've got a little passageway in. Here's a ramp down into the ground. And if you look, I've actually got some, some water starting to build up here. So this is the level with the aquifer. You can see when I got the dig tool on, there's, there's some damp stone. So this has got an aquifer and it's starting to fill up. So I don't want to let it go too far. I want to do some talking here before, before I do too much. So an aquifer is, the way it works is that on this zone, every single square of this zone has kind of like a pool of water in it. So if you leave any of these um, with the water, um, they will just constantly produce water. And these light ones produce it slowly. Heavy ones produce it quickly. A heavy one, in order to get through it, you're really gonna need to use pumps to kind of pump the water out to give you access. With the light ones, you can kind of just dig. So what I'm gonna do is I built this ramp down I'm going to want to preserve the ramp, but you can't really preserve the ramp easily. Um, and I'll show you how to even deal with that. So I like to build ramps as I go down. If you've seen some of my other tutorials, I've got this trade depot up top. I might someday want to live down below. Uh, dealing with an aquifer with just a staircase is a lot easier. And actually, I could probably just show that at the same time. So I'm going to dig a stairwell down here. And... Go down to this level yeah so I'll, I'll dig a stairwell and show you how dealing dealing with an aquifer with a stairwell at the same time i'm dealing with an aquifer which is mining out all right so what i'm going to do is i got the ramp down and i'm going to just uh so this is the shape that i want to go down now as i go down i actually the next level down will be kind of oh that staircase is in a bad spot let me let me just clear that out for a second and put it somewhere else because it's going to get in the way of what I'm doing. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. It's far enough away. All right. So the shape of my staircase as it goes down is actually going to look like this. So I got those going down then I'll have that shape. And I'll have that shape and back here again. So that's going to be of what I want to dig out, which means I'm actually going to need to dig out another way, another row all the way around this. So I need to dig all of that area out because as I go down, I make kind of this spiral and I don't know how many levels down I'm going to need to go. Now, in order to preserve the ramp, um, I'm going to keep the these three walls here. And I'm going to keep the, the ramp itself doesn't uh, produce water anymore, I believe. I might have to get rid of the ramp and redo the ramp as well. But for now, I'm going to leave these walls here because they will, you need kind of ramps connected to walls. So I've got the, which means this will, will still produce water. Uh, but I'm going to let it go because you kind of just replace these one at a time. Um, actually, I will dig one out so I can start the replacement process. So we'll go ahead and let this run. And your dwarves will, will, will dig this out rather quickly because I'm in a, in a loam level. If I was in a stone level, I could do it a little bit different. No, oh, and I'm going to need to just keep designating this as I go because what happens is your dwarves hit, they dig a level out, but then they see um, wet, damp stone, and then they stop. So they'll dig one out. Like this one actually stopped as well because they saw wet. So what I have to do is come back up here, designate a staircase and say, no, really, I want you to dig that out. Because I had done a staircase over multiple levels, it got to this level. And as I started going down, they hit the damp stone and so immediately canceled it for you. So that's why that stair disappeared. So I just had to go back in and designate it again. And also, if you didn't catch that, I had the stair here. In order to go from this level and connect it down, I had to start the stair here and go down here and finish it. All right, so my dwarves will dig out again, um, and again, it'll it'll cancel stuff around it. 
that's not a problem. I'll just keep I'll just keep designated. And you can see that uh, I still just got this like one seven water. It hasn't produced any water here. It's it's going pretty slowly. I've also got a lot of dwarves digging outside. Okay, uh, so I mean not digging, chopping outside, uh, so I could get some trees, so I could do this. Okay, so I'm on this level for with a staircase. This one's even easier, so I'm just going to dig all of these eight places around the stair. So I'll get that going. And I'm still digging this place out. <sighs> Almost on the last level. You can see now some water is starting to spill in. Alright, so I'm going to do these last ones, and then I'll do this row when it, when it goes black as well. And it looks like I'm starting to dig these out. All right, so with the staircase, what you're going to want to do first when you've done the, a staircase with the eight around it is you're going to want to just install the eight corners. So I'm going to come over here to build. I'm going to construct. I'm going to construct walls. I'll just use the closest material and keep building. And this is because if you if you build them all at the same time, your dwarves might be silly and and come and do these two closest to the staircase first, and then they can't access the corner. So just designate the four corners, let them start that. Once they've built these four corners, then you're going to do the four walls. And so, like I said, everything on this level produces water if it's a naturally occurring part of that level. Because I've dug it out, and I'm putting walls in, um, you'll see that there's, it's, it's showing water right here. The reason it's showing water is not because it's, uh, it's going to produce water anymore. It's showing water because if I dig it out, it will, did, I, did, did this suspend? No. If I dig that out, then water will start flowing. Uh, okay, now I can start putting walls on this bottom one as well. So with this, again, you want to make be aware of the corners. So you don't want to do everything around a corner. So I don't want to put anything here yet. But I can go ahead and say do this section. Um, just make sure that I leave an open space next to corners so that the dwarves can go ahead and, and install. Okay, so I've done the four corners on the staircase. We're going to go ahead and construct some more walls in here. There we go. And then that one's done, so we can we can put some more walls up here and here. So I've got the walls built with access to all the corners. The other thing that's kind of a corner, but it's tough to realize, is that I'm going to be replacing these walls here so that ramp, the ramp can stay here. And if I were to put a wall here, then the dwarves might do this one, this one, and this one before they do the one in the middle. So this is kind of like a corner, which is why I haven't designated this replacement wall here yet. All right, so, uh, no, these ones aren't done. We got, let me make sure we've got enough wood coming. Yeah, we got lots of, lots of wood to, to keep going with. All right, dwarves are putting it. So since this corner is done, I can go ahead now and put this one in. And you can see I've, I've got some water that has seeped in, but it's all at 1.7 level right now. 1.7 is not that bad. I, my dwarves will walk right through that. They'll continue working. They'll put up these walls. Um, and so it's not going to be an issue. It only becomes an issue, it's, at, it's either at like... Three or four is when water doesn't really go away, and and maybe around five or so, I think it's like dwarves will stop doing work there. So at at one, which is all I'm really going to see, it's not an issue. But what you do have to do is be active with it. So I'm just staying on this screen and, and working it. I'm not worrying about other stuff going on in my fortress. If I worry about other stuff going on, I could get my focus taken away. And all this could stop. I've never actually done two things at once like this, so I'm I'm kind of keeping my eye over here to make sure that I do build this at some point. All right, that's good. All right, so we got this one done. So I'm going to go ahead and designate 
this next one to be cut down and we've got this corner done so I can designate this wall Ooh, not there alright we're almost done over here with the staircase and we're getting closer here All right, the staircase is done. So what I have over here, I'll show it with this. So I know that oh, out here is all aquifer, and here are the walls I produce. Now it's still showing the, the drop because if I were to take down any of those walls, these ones that are aquifer out here would start leaking into that spot. However, this, this staircase will now never get water into it because I've got built walls all the way around it. Same thing going for most of this. So I've almost got this out. Now you can see water still pouring in because I still got these ones in the middle too I also have to get rid of. And I don't remember if I have to get rid of the slope or not. I'm actually going to, because I don't remember, I'm going to go ahead and leave the slope just because I want to see uh, what happens. That way I remember for my own purposes. All right, one last wall there and they got to dig this out. So we're done with the staircase one. And if I'm going down multiple levels, I just gotta remember that I'm doing this one level at a time so I don't get caught behind. Um, if, you, if you start trying to do multiple levels of a staircase, then what happens is the water will, will be pouring out of multiple floors. I mean, yeah, multiple floors of, of aquifer. And they're all gonna be going down the stairs and pulling at the bottom. So it just ups your chances that you get behind and can't ever catch up. You'll, you'll get too much water and then you'll have to figure out a way to pump the water first. And with a light aquifer, it's generally a slow enough rate that you're never going to have to pump as long as you follow the steps that, that I've shown you do right. I've shown you in, in this tutorial. So I believe now, once, well right now, that we are done on this level. So I've got a wall all the way around. I've dug out everything. This will eventually come back and be another wall. Um, and I believe all of the water will now evaporate out. Now what I don't know is if this, because I, I dug uh, ramps here, but it was out of the, the dirt that was already on this level. I don't know if a ramp will still produce water. I believe that it does not. But I'm just going to let it go here for a while. And I'm going to check real quick if there's another level. So what I would do to check another level is I would come, come over here to dig, do stairs again, start at this level, go down one more. And we'll see, we'll see if, there's, if there's water. Okay, so there's no water on this level. So I, I made it through the aquifer. If I had gotten down here and there was blue drops around, I would have to do the exact same process again here. So that means that this level... I'm going to get through as well. So it appears, that's weird. So it's, it's showing some blue drops on all of these, but it, it appears that I'm actually, the water is evaporating off. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe, let's go ahead and, um, do I just dig to get rid of that? No. See if this blue drop goes away if I um, replace these with uh, actual bolt ramps. I'm curious if that'll get rid of these these blue drops. It doesn't appear that it's now. It also might be that this this ramp is just only three places is not enough to to keep up with evaporation. So it might be that it's producing water but it's so slow that you will never actually see it. So that's also a possibility. Uh, and so if I remove all of these, I might get those blue drops to go away. All right, so all of them are gone now. No, I still got the blue drops. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting the blue drops unless it's just that I have water on the floor right here maybe that's what's doing it 
we'll see what happens if this water evaporates out. I really don't know why we're getting the blue drops on. I can understand it here on the outside wall. I don't understand it on these three. It also might just be a bug. We might be seeing a bug in that. It just does that on all constructions on this level because it's an aquifer level. I'm not positive. Um, but these ones in no way are going to have water start leaking. If I get rid of any of these three, it's, it's not going to start having water pour in at this point because there's no aquifer on this level. Um, this one seven right here might be what's causing it because not just aquifer, these things show up if you just have standing water on the other side. And usually when you have standing water on the other side, it's a seven out of seven, not a one out of seven. So either it's a bug or it's this one out of seven. Either way, I don't think there's anything else to show you about getting through an aquifer. So we're going to end it there. Thanks for coming.